It's a bacteria that can colonize our bodies. About 10% of women have this bacteria in their vagina. Right? It is not a pathogen to the woman. It will never cause the woman to have any serious problem. However, when a woman carries that bacteria, there is a small chance as the baby passes through the vaginal canal during the birth process that the baby could pick up the bacteria. And a small fraction of those babies who pick up that bacteria could develop overwhelming sepsis or an overwhelming infection and be very, very injured after birth. Uh, so what we do or what we recommend in all pregnancies is to have a culture around the 34th, 35th, 36th week, which is just a Q-tip swab of the vagina. And we also then usually swab the anal area because it can be harbored, the bacteria can be harbored in that area as well. And uh, we send it off for culture. I want to reiterate that it is not a pathogen in the women. It's not a sign of bad hygiene if you have this bacteria. It is a normal bacteria for that particular woman. Um, it's sent off for culture. If the culture comes back positive, the recommendation is that when a woman goes into labor, that she receive an IV, at least, or an, at least a heparin lock. She doesn't need any IV fluid, but in order to give her intravenous antibiotics. And we usually use ampicillin or penicillin, unless the woman is penicillin allergic, and then there are other medications we use. At that time, we'd like to get at least two doses in before they labor, but sometimes the women go so fast that they only get one dose in. Um, the reason that I think it's important in today's environment that a woman who has that, even if she's against antibiotics and against uh, testing for this thing, is if you have a baby that is born to you and you have unknown beta strep status or positive beta strep status and you haven't treated, and in the nursery at the hospital, the baby starts to grunt a little bit or do something that's just a little bit abnormal, the pediatric department, and rightfully so, and the nursing department are gonna swoop down on that baby, and that baby's gonna end up probably getting a blood workup, an IV, and antibiotics for three to 10 days. So in order to save your baby potential problem, it seems like a very reasonable thing to do to allow at least the culture to be done, and then discussing with the antibiotics pro uh, process with your practitioner. There's no reason not to have a natural birth because you have beta strep. And if you rupture your membranes while, and you're still planning to have a cesarean section, you are still going to be covered by, by getting antibiotics.